Well, the way it normally works is this. When something is true and is logical and rational, then the more I learn about it, then the more I will likely support whatever it is. When something is false and is not logical or rational, then the more I learn about it, the less I will support whatever that is. Coming from the left, there are a handful of issues that we're all supposed to agree with them wholeheartedly, or we're like the evil right. We're all supposed to believe in the way that things should be, and work towards that, even if it doesn't make sense, rather than believing in how things actually are, or as close to it as we can get, and working within those confines. We're supposed to virtue signal to coddle people's feelings in virtually everything, no matter how false those feelings may be, and provided it's not based on religion. We're to never take a masculine approach, only a feminine one. Coming from the right, there's Bible-based religion and everything that comes with it. And we're all supposed to agree with all of it, or we'll be viewed poorly by God and will burn in hell for eternity. We're all supposed to view things through a religious lens, rather than how things actually are. We're supposed to coddle Bible-based viewpoints, no matter how outrageous some of the conspiracy theories might actually be. With flat earth theory, thankfully, being an exception to this most of the time. I mean, you do run into people once in a while who are actually pushing flat earth theory and it's really laughable. But thankfully, most of the time, that sort of thing isn't considered seriously. So, But we're not supposed to take a feminine approach. We're only supposed to take a masculine approach. I think feminine approaches in certain situations is better than masculine approaches in those situations and the, the other way around. There are some situations where a masculine approach is much, much preferred. There is no one-size-fits-all answer. And just as I don't like the combination of church and state coming from the right, I don't like the combination of fantasy and politics coming from the left. There is an objective reality. The farther from that we get, the less I'm going to want to support whatever it is. A lot of people seem to be living in a virtue signaling world. It simply doesn't line up with reality. Okay, let's be real here. Let's go against some of the left's fantasies. Diversity is rarely an actual strength, especially when mandated or forced. Cultural appropriation is rarely a bad thing. Sexual orientation is about sex, not gender. You cannot change your biological sex. You can't expect society to move away from using biology as a means of recognizing and categorizing people in their heads. You can't force people to think of a demographic in a very particular way, especially when it doesn't line up with statistics or other evidence. On the other side of things, a gay man is not a degenerate heathen for holding hands in public with his husband. Or kissing, just simple kissing. I mean, I'm not talking about making out, but, you know, kissing, you know, showing affection in some way. There is nothing degenerate about that. Someone is not a degenerate for simply attending a pride event. A loving gay couple is far better suited to raise a child than an orphanage. You can be moral without being religious. There is supposed to be a separation of church and state. There are a lot of genuine asylum seekers wanting to take asylum here in this country. So now that I've pissed off both sides, have a joy joy day!